Carlos, call me as soon as you're at the meeting, all right? Just let me know if it works. All right, thanks. If what works? I don't want to jinx it. Well, if you told me, then we can hope for it together. Well, AJ, my father, he could go free. <sighs> Lieutenant. Sorry. It's detective now, isn't it? What can I do for you, Miss Quartermain? I understand that... Oh. Well, if you came here hoping to watch me get carted off to Pentonville, something tells me you're going to be a little disappointed. Now, let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? Actually, nothing would make me happier than to wave goodbye to you as you get carted off to Pentonville, but I am here on another matter. You have Robert Scorpio in custody, yes? I'd like to see him. Well, thanks for dropping by. Sorry, Robert, I've been busy. I am working on other cases other than your B&E right now. Let me make this clear to you. Your boss, that pushy woman that got me locked up in here, is holding hands with a card-carrying psycho. Okay, I can't just ignore her orders. Well, you might want to start to try. Because Anna's life is on the line. Duncan? Bitch, shit. Sure. If you don't like the view, Anna, we can always change rooms. No, no, it's beautiful. It's lovely. Something's troubling you. What is it? Since the last time I was here in Switzerland, it was because Heather said Robin was here. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought you here. Oh, it's all right. It's fine. So I'm kind of surprised. I thought we were going upstate to ski. This cat skull. Why are we here? Why did you bring me here? to see for herself. She has to see that Dublavery and Faison are two separate people. I can make that happen. Well, the Catskills are very nice, but uh, the food they have there is nothing compared to the food here, and also the skiing here is so much better. When a friend offered me a plane and these rooms, I mean, I could hardly say no. Besides, I'm not exactly welcome in the United States anymore. Since when? What happened? Well, my secrets are... Faison isn't welcome in Port Charles. And his lawyer meeting with the ADA to discuss a plea bargain. All right, Michael, I just want to get your hopes too high because... It... AJ has some information on a serious criminal. Somebody the authorities want way more than him. And Diane's the best at making deals, so... Diane, wasn't she your lawyer when... I was convicted of manslaughter, yeah. But, I mean, it wasn't her fault. I confessed there was nothing she could do. Oh, now I know why you're so worried about AJ going to prison, because you know what it's like. Yeah. You know, sometimes the uh, memories creep up, creep up on me, and I think they're going to choke me, you know? But then I think about my life now, and... Oh, it's better than I ever dreamed it would be. Because of you. I guess your victim act was less than successful. You probably thought you were going to have Michael glued to your hip by now. Well, we're building a relationship, Tracy. It takes time. Really? Does really? Michael know that? Or does he know what the rest of us quartermains know? That you're a black hole. You are a bottomless pit of self-pity and incompetence. Ooh, you're going to fit right in at Pentonville. You'd like to see that, wouldn't you? You shot my brother in the back. There is nothing I would like more than to see you in prison, especially before you and Skye can do any harm to ELQ. Mm. What if I told you that Skye and I have a plan to save the company from you? This stimulating discussion of corporate politics is simply going to have to wait because the DA is waiting on us. AJ and Tracy, weren't you looking for Robert Scorpio? I was. Any time now, detective. Oh, I'm busy. And although I'm sure you know your way around a jail cell, Jack, would you escort this young lady down to Robert Scorpio's cell? AJ, this is Detective John McBain. He is a recent addition to the PCPD, and I understand you're going to be joining us. I'm going to be sitting in, yes. Oh, that's good. I hope you are ready to deal, because what my client has to offer should not remain on the table too long. 
The DA is backed up right now, and the charges Can't you're you facing can't just make a point. I mean, I, I, I've tried. I'm Ryan, Look, Ryan. Robert, Robert, listen to me. I've tried. Okay, bottom line is you have to wait for your turn. Lulu, can you hear what she said last night? They were leaving on a ski expedition. I've got to stop that. It's too late. Anna's already gone. Why would you say that? There's nothing remotely funny about Faison. Not even his hair. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to make light of him. I was just laughing at Robert and his highly creative and paranoid theory that Faison and I are one and the same. Yes, yeah, certainly paranoid. It's not outside the realm of possibility, though, is it? What does that mean? What if Faison's alive? that the city of Port Charles cannot afford not to take. Tell him. Juan, thank you so much for agreeing to this meeting. I hear your client's ready to confess. Oh, well, I, I think my meaning may have been misconstrued. No confession, no deal. Right. Don't be so hasty. My client is in possession of information which is of great value to this government. And he is willing to trade said information for all the charges against him being dismissed. Look, I only took this meeting as a courtesy. I want this case to go to trial. I've got signed statements from your client's father and sister that he shot the father in the back. It's not a curiosity. What kind of information are we talking about? Certainly you gentlemen are familiar with the FBI's most wanted list. Where's Faison fit in that list? Get me out of here! Okay, look, I already told you the DA's backed up, but I will see what I can do. Tracy, I didn't think you'd come. Well, I wasn't sure I was going to come, but you mentioned Luke. Is he all right? Where is he? Turkey. <laughs> Robert, you want to be more specific? Is he vacationing? Is he on a bender? Is he in trouble of some kind? Well, he's there handling his situation, and um, I'm here handling Anna. And judging from your circumstances, uh, Anna didn't like being... Handled? Well, she had me busted for breaking into Lavery's apartment. Really? A lifetime as a secret agent. You must be slipping. Well, uh, desperation makes me sloppy. I needed the proof. Proof of what? Brace yourself. But Rob is right. Faison's remains were never found. Well, didn't he die in an explosion? I mean, there'd be nothing left to find. Well, that man cheated death before. Yes, but that's no proof that he would... It's a reminder that I need to keep my eyes open. I've been trained never to overlook any possibility, and I won't. But Faison was in love with you. He was obsessed with me. That's completely different. But if he loved you, wouldn't he have found you by now? Wouldn't he have shown his face by this time? I don't know. Maybe. It's just so unsettling to think that he could be out there somewhere. Then don't think about it. Stop thinking about it. It's easier said. I nearly lost everything because of him. Why don't you go to your room and unpack? And we'll see each other in a little while. Okay, that's a good idea. Can we not talk about him anymore? the slam dunk that you are envisioning, given that several of the witnesses has di have died during the interview. Wait, sorry, what what the hell is he doing here? He's my partner. Yeah, he's also Sonny Corinthos' son. All right. I would not go so far to say, as the detective, has a conflict of interest, but it is true that his father, Mr. Corinthos, does have a vendetta against my client. Well, Diane, Diane, please, do you want a grandstand or do you want to deal? I'm on the oh. clock here. 
I'm sorry. Deal? What deal? She wants to scrub all the charges. What are you? Uh, not a chance. We got an airtight case against okay, this guy. Come on, guy. I'm a petty criminal compared to Faison. Faison? Who, who's talking about Faison? He's talking about Faison. Well, that's great. AJ, would you take this off the internet? Look at the timestamp, genius. That photo's taken years after his supposed yes. death. And the tech department can scan the data to their heart's content once we have a deal in writing, gentlemen. Come on. This is a get for this department. This is the kind of arrest and conviction that, that makes headlines and resets career trajectories. So, do you want A.J. Quartermain or do you want Cesar Faison? Luke said if I called you, uh, you'd help. Well, that's because Luke thinks he can con me, even secondhand. Hey, look, I was mortified when I learned that he and Anna had hooked up. I always hoped that she'd did better. I'm not going to discuss my personal situation with you. If we're going to talk about Luke and Anna, we are going to confine ourselves to the crisis at hand. Now, you have a cigarillo butt and the word of Olivia Falconeri, poor Charles's resident psychic, and that makes you believe, convinced, that Faison walks among us. You're going to tell me I'm crazy, aren't you? Luke trusts you. And if you say that Faison is alive, then I say you and I need to find that maniac and stop him before he kills anybody else. As always, it's a pleasure to see you. I am simply pointing out that the risk you are taking bringing that woman here... Uh, that woman, excuse me, her name is Anna. And whenever you talk about her, show her a little respect and courtesy. And about my judgment, don't question it, all right? I trust you implicitly. I am simply pointing out that the situation is perilous. You've gone to a great deal of time and trouble. And Anna's presence here could be your undoing. Yeah, but Scorpio's interference left me no choice. I have to take a calculated risk to make Anna mine, okay? Say the photo's real. It doesn't do any good without location, without a context. I can provide all that. Provided we have a deal. I thought you changed. AJ, isn't that what you told Michael, that you wanted to do right by your family? I do. Well, then how can you sit here covering your own ass while that maniac is out on the loose? You tell us what you know about Faison, and it'll help restore your reputation, maybe. A glossy reputation is not going to do my client any good in Pentonville. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gentlemen. Kicking a quarter main loose, the press is going to go nuts. Look, we have Robert Scorpion downstairs with his own story about Faison. This is all starting to add up. It's your call. For what it's worth, Faison's a much bigger threat than this guy in here. I'm sorry to interrupt, gentlemen, but I just want you to know that I'm sure the Justice Department will be happy to give my client immunity and more for a shot at Faison, so it can be their triumph or yours. Yeah, I can probably find you a judge, and I don't think your bail will be too prohibitive. I can't even get a hearing right now. The EA's office is so backed up. Ah, oh, yes. Well, with any luck at all, they are working overtime to put my nephew in prison until the end of time. Do you reckon that they could put that case aside just long enough to get me out of here? Look, every second that she's with Faison, she's in worse danger. Have you made all necessary preparations? To the letter. But there is still time to change course. There are other ways to take care. Hey, Duke. Duke? Dana? Congratulations. You're a free man. Thank you. Not yet. Where's Faison? Switzerland. Hey, Duke. What do we do? Duke, I tried taking a nap and I... I'm kind of jet lagged and a bit wired. Duke? Oh. Hello? Michael, AJ asked me to call you. Yeah, how did the meeting go? Did uh, the DA take the deal? Well, I have very good news for you. Your father has been cleared of all charges. 
Officers! Officers! There's a man escaping. He's a felon. Relax, Tracy. I'm free. What do you mean you're free? All charges dropped. That is not possible. You belong in prison. Well, I guess the DA found someone they wanted more than me. So I'll see you in the boardroom. My arraignment? No, but AJ Quartermain backed up your story. Faison is alive, and according to AJ, he's in Switzerland. Open the door, Duke. <sighs> Duke! Anna, it's John. Uh, look, you need to call me right away. I have some information that you need to know. Faison is alive. 